You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk Godzilla Resurgence because tomorrow, as of this recording, which is April 28th, tomorrow is supposed to be a day of reveal for Toho. What they're going to reveal tomorrow, we don't know. It might be a new trailer. It might be an upgrade from the last trailer we saw where we see a little bit more. Maybe there's dialogue, even though... My, me personally, I can't, I don't understand what they're saying, but sometimes the tone of the dialogue and, and the emotion behind the dialogue can give you an idea of where the movie's going, what the theme might be. Uh, or we can just be getting other things. You know, I, I'm clueless. I am excited about it. Uh, the trailer was pretty good, and that at least got the juices flowing a little bit after such a long wait from the last trailer, which many of you know I wasn't too crazy about. And But tomorrow's the day, and I'm not going to be able to discuss whatever is revealed tomorrow until tomorrow night. Uh, in which case, I'm going to do a vlog video. Uh, I'm not going to have a setup like this. I'm just going to kind of get on my computer, uh, look at what, what was done, whether it's a new trailer, view it, whether it is uh, news, read it, and then discuss my thoughts on it and, and, and open a dialogue with you guys regarding what we find out tomorrow. Uh, also depends on the time. You know, this is happening in Japan, so it might be very late. Might be something we have to stay up for. I will be up late. Uh, Friday nights, I'm usually chill. You know what I mean? After a long work, a, a long week of work, I like to kind of just relax and, uh, and unwind a little bit. So, but what can we expect? All right, so a lot of us assuming trailer, 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 uh, which is a good chance. It may be a good chance. I thought the last trailer was good. I think we'll probably get another one. I think it'll be very similar to the one we saw with some enhancements. Maybe we see a little bit more action sequences. Uh, maybe we'll get a little bit of dialogue and some less music. Uh, other things that could be revealed, perhaps a little tease on the plot, what it's going to include, what's going to happen. Maybe some insight as to Godzilla's look. Maybe some confirmation as to whether or not he is going to regenerate over the course of the movie. Uh, that was a rumor that I did a video about uh, some time ago. Uh, some people have debunked that. Some people still believe it's, it's possibility. Um, from what I understand, I, I don't believe that is going to happen. I think there have been uh, multiple sources that have confirmed that there is no uh, three forms to Godzilla in this movie or multiple forms. But we'll hopefully we'll find out for sure tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we get a couple of questions answered as to this movie. You know, there is a lot of secrecy around it. There's been very little marketing. You get that same similar approach that we got for 2014. The only difference is... When 2014 delivered teasers or delivered trailers, uh, usually there was a lot more to show where the first trailer for Godzilla wasn't that great. Uh, the second trailer was a lot better, uh, but still didn't get too much insight. So we're hoping tomorrow we get, at least for me, even if we don't get a trailer, I just want some general information, something to talk about. Get a little glimpse on the story, maybe a little explanation or a tease of an explanation as to why Godzilla looks the way he looks. Something... De definitely something tangible that we can talk about over the course of the next couple of weeks leading into the movie. So that's what I'm hoping for personally. What time this is supposed to take place tomorrow, I'm not sure. I really haven't looked into that. I'm sure some of you guys know. So please let me know in the comments so I can check, so I can know what time it's going to happen. And I can kind of, you know, if it happens around my lunch time, maybe I go to my car during my lunch and watch it on my phone. Uh, if it happens later in the evening, then that's great because maybe... We can check it out. I can check it out that evening and then do a video right away. But uh, but tomorrow's going to be a big day. I, I think it's definitely something to be excited for. I think that the trailer earlier this month was definitely a good thing. Uh, I thought it was a good trailer. And I thought that it's going to hopefully set the tone for this movie going forward into July for a little bit more marketing, a little bit more love. And uh, hopefully the payoff at the end is good. Hopefully a good, good payoff at the end of, uh, or in July when the movie comes out, we all get to see it. Because you know we're all going to get to watch it like a week after its release. It's going to be streamed on video somewhere on the internet. We'll all catch it. Uh, I will definitely catch it. And let's face it, even if we don't love this movie, we're all going to buy it next year on DVD. We know we are. we got to add it to that collection, right? That growing collection. So, oh, um, and before I end this video, uh, real quick, a couple of people were asking me about this painting right here, right? This is a... Actually, I'm going to pull it off. Be careful. Um, so this painting, this is not the first time I've shown it. Um, let me see if I can get... Well, I guess that's good right there. All right, so this painting was done for me by Olivia Sinead Heron, okay? She is a member of the nation. She's also 
part of the ETN podcast, which we don't do as often anymore, but we are planning one uh, for after Civil War next week. Um, so if you've listened to the podcast before, then you're very aware of who Olivia is. And she does fantastic artwork. And I asked, I asked her to do a painting for me some time ago, and I've never been able to put it on camera because I've never had a setup like this. And basically she did this, and I thought it was really great. So you have basically a lot of my favorite characters from different TV shows and different movies. Obviously the big payoff in the back is Godzilla. Uh, over here you have Jon Snow next to Rick Grimes. Uh, on the bottom there is Scarlet Witch, the comic version of Scarlet Witch. Uh, Wolverine. Um, the Flash over on the my right, bottom right, uh, your left probably looking at it, and then Vegeta, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, and then yes, that <laughs> that's me sitting on the Iron Throne with an ETN sword. So I thought it was really cool, you know. Um, the pose, the pose is from Conan. If you've ever seen Conan at the end of the movie when he's sitting on the throne, so that is that from Olivia, and I will put this. There. Oh. I'll straighten that out. Yeah, so Olivia did that. Uh, it's not the first time I've shown a painting. I actually showed it the first day I got it. This was a while back, and the video's in there somewhere. But she has her own YouTube channel, uh, and she has off of the beaten path artwork, which is on Facebook. You can go there and check it out. She does great work. Or you can listen to her. Listen to her uh, after May 6th. We're going to do a, probably, I want to say... Uh, May 14th, May 14th, I, we're going to do another ETN podcast that's a week after Civil War comes out, and you can hear us there, and she will definitely tell you where you can find her YouTube channel, and find her, um, I, I will put the YouTube link in the description, because I forget the name right now as, as I'm thinking about it, but I'll put her YouTube channel in the description, and then when you listen to the podcast, Nick, uh, two weeks from now, It'll be me, her, and Xander. Xander's another great channel you should take, check out, especially if you like video games. I'll put his link in the description. He's another member of the Nation Facebook page, and he has multiple podcasts all revolve around gaming. So if you're into that, uh, definitely check him out. A great source, especially if you like collecting older games uh, like Nintendo and, and, and you know, 64 and stuff like that. Uh, he's, a, he's a big time retro collector, uh, overall game collector, and he's a good source for that kind of stuff. And then, of course, as you guys see, these are all my movies behind me. This is like a quarter of what I own for movies. I have movies all over the place. But that's it, guys. That's it. So once again, hopefully tomorrow will be a good day. we get some great information. Either way, we're going to discuss it tomorrow night. I'll do it on a vlog. Maybe I'll do a pop-up live stream. So be ready for that. Maybe I'll just come online and we'll discuss it all together at the same time. I think that sounds like a better idea. I'll probably do that. All right, guys. That's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.